hey friends welcome back to my channel or oh, welcome if you're new here my name is Liz in today's video I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how much I spent in Thailand so if you've been watching my videos I recently went to Thailand and I want to share with you guys how much I spent throughout the whole trip I'm talking about how much I spent on my flight how much I spent on my hotel I also went from like one place to the next I'm gonna tell you like how much I spent on that as well how much I spent on my transport literally everything including my maintenance how much I spent on shopping to plan for the trip to get myself ready I'm gonna be sharing that with you guys just in case any of you are planning to visit the country yourself and you kind of want like an idea on how much money to like save up prior to the trip or how much you're like looking to spend basically so if this is something that you're interested or want to know more about then please keep on watching I have a list on my phone I did kind of write I like to write on everything when I travel I like to make sure I have my budget how much I actually spend pretty much I just like to have a clear idea of where my money is going that's just how I've always been so I pretty much just have everything on my notes app and I'm just gonna go through and share with you guys so let me just give you like a little um, background just so you can understand and like when I visited and also where I'm coming from so for my Thailand trip I left from London and I also went for about eight days and I traveled in August so like the beginning of August to like the second week that's when I traveled to um, Thailand so just so you have an idea so the cost will pretty much be different depending on where you're coming from or which time of year that you visit so please take that in mind okay so back to this so my flight round trip from London to Bangkok so I visited Bangkok first and then I left from Bangkok and I visited Phuket so my round trip flight which includes only my flight from London to Bangkok and from Phuket to London cost me around £1,274.61 and I had to book a flight from Bangkok to Phuket because this wasn't included on the flight that we booked before and this cost me around £33 and the total that I paid for my flight totaled to £1,307.61 that's just my flight we're not done there like the money just keep on adding up so bear with me so in Bangkok we stayed for around say three nights so that means we had to book like hotels we have to book our transport um, from the airport to the hotel and also from the hotel back to the airport so we are able to get to Phuket and we also decided to do like a little excursion where we're out in Bangkok as well because why not so in Bangkok when it comes on to the hotel this is just my cost i did went with my friend so the cost kind of like reduced and split in half so just to bear that in mind as well if you're traveling alone it might be a little bit more expensive for you because you will need to pay for that cost for yourself so the hotel for bangkok cost me around 178 pound and 41 pence and while we were in bangkok we decided to do like a little floating market and we went to the grand palace and that whole excursion was literally so amazing if you haven't seen my talent diaries please go ahead and check it out i had such a great time and that excursion basically cost me around 59 pounds so the taxi in total from say the airport in bangkok to the hotel and also back from the hotel to the airport to get to phuket cost me around 32 pounds again these costs they're like split in half this is just what i paid and the total money that I spent for Bangkok for my excursion, my flight, and my transport cost me around two hundred and sixty-nine pounds and forty-one pence. So now that we had a good time in Bangkok, we spent loads of money. Well, it's not that much to be fair. We're moving on to Phuket. So the hotel for Phuket, which was such a nice hotel. <sighs> breathtaking like I said go and watch my talent series if you haven't seen it yet the hotel cost me around 285 pound and one of the days while we were in Phuket we left to go to another island which is called Fifi Island and for that whole day trip we spent amazing trip by the way so that cost us around 89 pound 33 pounds which i think was so worth it because it was such a great experience so we also went to elephant jungle sanctuary and that cost me around 44 pound and 41 pence we also went to the tiger park in phuket and that cost me around 20 pound which was an okay price like there wasn't anything much to it like 
it's just take pictures with the tiger literally a couple minutes and then you're gone but the price was okay to like see what you see if you never see like a tiger before you want to take pictures with it the price is fine and also the total that i spent for phuket including my hotel and the excursion that we did was about 438 pound and 74 pence so in total for my flights for both bangkok and phuket including my excursion and my transport for the taxis that cost me around oh i forgot to mention that i pay for all the taxis for bangkok and my friend paid for all the taxis for phuket so that is why i didn't mention taxis for phuket because my friend paid for that one so the total booking for the trip and activities for bangkok and phuket cost me around two thousand and fifteen pound and seventy six pence so moving on next on the list here i have my travel insurance because i don't know about you but i like to have my travel insurance when i'm traveling especially if you're going that far i, like, I just like the peace of mind to know that i'm gonna be good no matter what so if i need to jump to the hospital i'm covered if my phone lost i'm covered if my bag lost i'm covered and the list goes on so i always like to ensure that i get travel insurance and my travel insurance i literally just get it from like money supermarket but you can do this with like your bank whichever you prefer but i always go in money supermarket and get mine and mine was like 16 pound and 13 pence wasn't like a heavy cost at all the thing with travel with travel insurance is you buy it but sometimes you like never use it so before the trip as well i also like put myself like a budget to do some shopping like to buy a little bit of things that i needed like bikinis to buy some outfits that i needed and i budgeted myself 200 pounds to do shopping because i have loads of stuff of this here i was like i'm not gonna buy a lot of stuff so 200 pounds should be really good for shopping right wrong with the inner one recession or whatever you call it so i ended up spending around 387 pound and 76 pence on shopping yes i did write down all my shopping that i made so and also for my hair i did budget it around 200 pound for my hair because that's what my braid normally cost me when i get my braid done if you guys have been watching my vlogs you know that i didn't manage to get someone to braid my hair because the appointment just wasn't there so i ended up braiding my hair myself if you haven't seen that video and you'd like to check it out to see how i've done these amazing goddess braids then you can go ahead and check it out either here or here i'll leave it also linked in the description box for you guys and i budgeted 200 pounds like i said but i ended up spending about 21 pounds and 46 pence because i did it myself <laughs> and that's basically the price to like buy my braids and i bought some other bits as well and also i needed to get my nails done and my feet done and that cost me around 70 pounds to do all of that so i've also needed to budget it myself to actually spend when i'm in the country so to buy food souvenirs to pay for taxis and a little bit that i needed to buy once i'm there and i budgeted about 500 pounds to spend in thailand and i literally spent all of it <laughs> all of it i'm telling you thailand is very cheap at one point we were just giving away money as like tips and stuff so that's included in this cost as well um but it's such a cheap country and we had such a great time that's pretty much the cost for my whole thailand trip in total i spent are you ready three thousand and eleven pound and thirteen pence for the whole thailand trip and that's equivalent to around $3,832.42 USD. So that's pretty much the end of this video. I hope you guys did find it helpful. I hope it kind of give you like an idea of how much you will spend if you're visiting Thailand. Or kind of give you like an outline of how much you should probably save if you're planning to visit the country. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comment section and I'll be sure to get back to you. Again, if you find this video helpful or if you think someone else will find it helpful, please share it as well. And don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll be sure to catch you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>